Hey friends, real OG cameraman here. Let's get some clips. What you gotta say? Huh? Hmm? I need to know how far down the frame is. <laughs> Hey, yo, what's good, what it is, what it ain't, subscribe if you ain't. Yeah, I forgot to do that in the last video. But I'm wearing the same clothes in the last video, I told you. Um, damn. So in this video, we're gonna be sanding. So in this video, when I plan, oh. we're gonna be sanding down this primer that we put on yesterday. And we're gonna be using a brand new pad. Yes, sir. Once we get this done being sanded, oh, but once we get done sanding this primer down, that's when we can start laying down the red and then the matte finish. Now that we got this bike sanded, we can start putting this red paint on top of this primer. Alright, now we got the bike painted and we're just, we only have, uh, fucking shit. We're just gonna let it dry for a couple of hours, probably just come back to it tomorrow so we can paint the bottom side in the morning and let that dry and, you know, get to the final clear coat, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Good morning, everyone. It is the next day. We finally got the bike a little dry. It fell over last night in the wind and it scratched up some paint, so I just roughly sanded it real quick and put another coat on top of the scratches and whatnot. We have some right here, right here, this, and that right there. All of those like messed up the paint because it hit this or either hit the rocks. So I did end up flipping this over upside down so that I can paint the bottom side. It wasn't really that much to paint, but I'll let you know that I did it. Now we got to sand these handlebars and so that we can start painting those. It did start raining on me, but the bike didn't mess up at all. It had enough time to dry before the water got onto it. And I'm gonna just let it dry because there's some parts that are still a bit more shiny than something like this. I can rub that easy, nothing happens, but this, it feels a little sticky. So what I'm gonna be doing next, I already have the handlebar sanded. I did that off camera. And I also have the forks paint or sanded as well. And I'm gonna go ahead and start painting those black. Than like it usually does. sit and dry while the frame is also drying uh, looking by the weather as you've seen um, probably just gonna have to wait until tomorrow honestly so it's tomorrow in three two one all right y'all it is the next day here we got the bike ready well all right look so I thought it was gonna rain but I guess it hasn't rained so I'm getting an early star on clear coating this bike late in the day. Hopefully it doesn't rain. If it does, I'll just have I'll just pull the bike in the garage. I got a shit now.
now we got pretty much the bike covered with matte clear coat we're gonna let it dry for a little bit flip it over onto the bottom so that we can get that last little bit but until then we're gonna start working on these handlebars and forks and get those clear coated too yeah and get those clear coated too yeah i just got done clear coating the bike the forks and the handlebars the forks and the bike were nice but then the handlebars i don't know if you can see it in this light but basically the handlebars got a bunch of cracks on it and it doesn't look nice so i'm gonna have to wait till it dries sand it oh i also dropped the handlebars onto its face so there's a couple of scars and scratches on it so i'm gonna have to sand it down paint it black again and you know clear coat process whoop de whoop yeah i actually just realized that um while i'm waiting i can go ahead and start unmasking all of this and i cannot wait to unmask that and see what that looks like with the red Whew. but let's start unmasking I got the bike unmasked now. Uh, clearly there are some areas I need to touch up on, but I have some red acrylic, ac red ac huh? I have red acrylic paint and I'll just use my airbrush and fill in those spaces and um, take some acetone or alcohol to clean up the paint that got on place where it doesn't need to be. All right, y'all, it's, I don't know how many days later, as you can tell by the sky, it's been raining a lot. Uh, the entire yard was tore up, but we cleaned it. Well, she cleaned it. Uh, so what we got right here, we got all of the parts. We're gonna start putting this bike back together. I guess we're just gonna work our way from the front to the back. Boom, boom, bam, thank you, man. All right, and we're done. Thanks for watching. Huh? Imagine. <laughs> oh my God, she went to go use the bathroom um, and it started raining and I don't think I have time. Like, look at the ground. It's already, it's already raining. And I... <sighs> so as of right now, we have the front end complete, the bottom bracket, and also the seat. What's next is these tires. This is as far as we got. We got the handlebars on, wheels on, bottom bracket, the chain, everything work. Seat on, of course that's gonna work. Tomorrow, uh, actually not tomorrow. I'm gonna end the video here so that in the next video, I'm gonna have new brakes, new grips, and we're gonna get that thicker kit made. If you follow me on Instagram, you will see what, what uh, vinyl I got. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you hit the like button it actually helps me out so um even if you didn't like the video just like the video thanks um subscribe too because why not uh i love you